You are listening to the Rewards Canada Podcast. Welcome to episode 87 of the Rewards Canada podcast and our first episode for 2022. Normally the first episode of the year is reserved for the outlook and predictions for the year, but this time I'm changing it up. This time, the first episode of our season, we'll get the top travel rewards and cashback credit cards for 2022 since we just recently released them on the site. So that's what we're going to cover here. Actually, I'm, I don't know this year if we'll do an outlook and predictions um, let me save that again for next year. We'll see. I don't know. We kind of change it up as, as we go. So um, who knows? Maybe there will be one next episode. Maybe not. But anyways, let's get on with this episode and look at the top travel rewards credit cards and cashback credit cards for 2022. First, we'll look at the six travel rewards categories that we rank cards in. The first is the overall category. So these are the, the top cards out of everything that we rank. And we take the top out of those five categories and make the sixth category, which is our top travel rewards cards overall and for the fifth year in a row that spot goes to the american express cobalt card it takes the top honors and why wouldn't it the card was actually made better in 2021 which simply widened the gap between first and second spots for the second spot the td aeroplan visa internet card actually moved up to there it used to be in third spot and it moved up for a couple of reasons um, primarily the strength and phenomenal expansion of the aeroplan program and because of that, it pushed the American Express Gold Rewards card down to third spot. Even though the Gold Rewards card provides more flexibility than the Aeroplan card, and itself has strong Aeroplan points earning potential, the increased annual fee of $250 per year is something a lot of people may find hard to swallow, even with a big annual bonus or welcome bonus and an annual $100 travel credit. When you consider the TD Aeroplan card offers first year annual fee rebate, uh, it's tough to compete with uh, a $250 annual fee against that. Rounding out the top five are two other great cards, the Marriott Bonvoy American Express card, which holds on to fourth spot. But we'll have to see if it retains that spot for 2023. Um, we'll have a good part of this year to see how the Marriott Bonvoy program pans out because as of March, they're moving to that dynamic reward pricing. They're getting rid of their reward charts where we've been able to find a lot of outsized value. Uh, so we'll really have to see what happens there. Then in the fifth overall spot and holding on to that spot again is the HSBC World Elite MasterCard. No foreign transaction fees, a 1.5% to 3% return on spending, annual travel credits, and a points and mile conversion option keeps this card a real contender in our market. Next up, we have the top travel points card with an annual fee. So you may be asking, what's the difference between travel rewards and travel points? So travel rewards is kind of all encompassing. We take into account travel points, hotel, airline, you name it. Anything to do in the travel reward space is a travel rewards card. And we break it down into travel points, airline, hotel, those type of things. So travel points cards tend to be, you know, your, your Scotia rewards, your TD rewards, BMO rewards, those type of cards where you earn points that you can redeem towards almost any travel really depends on the card you have uh, so that's the top travel points card category and we look at it with an annual fee and again the top spot in this category goes to the scotia bank gold american express card five times points earning flexible tra travel redemption options and no foreign transaction fees keeps this card on top the card however was closely challenged this past year by the one only change we have in this category and that was the MBNA Rewards World Elite MasterCard, which underwent big changes in 2021 that allowed it to storm back onto this list because it had dropped out of the top five and it storms into second spot. It has excellent points earning rates of over five points per dollar if you include the birthday bonus. So that translates into big returns when redeeming for travel. But there was one main factor keeping it from gaining that top spot in this category, and that's its actual travel redemption option. It just isn't as flexible as Scotia's, as you have to redeem via MBNA rewards. So you're subject to their pricing and availability, and you can't shop around and just book any travel that you want yourself like you can with Scotia. Uh, but still, you know, with that strong points earning, it may be something to really look at if you're willing to, um, you know, narrow yourself down to redeeming for travel via MBNA rewards. So that's definitely a good option. Um, and by moving it to second spot, 
the MBNA card knocked the TD First Class Travel Visa Inf Infinite card off the list. Um, you know, it's still a good card, but you know, in this category, all these cards are quite, quite close. So TD First Class is now in sixth spot. That was one of the cards last year that we said is due for a revamp. So we'll see if that happens uh, anytime soon, if that card gets revamped and it can make its way back onto the list. And the rest of the list, or this category, remain the same as last year, albeit all these cards drop down one spot due to the MBNA card moving to second. And those in order from third to fifth are the Scotiabank Passport Visa Infinite card, the CIBC Avenger of Visa Infinite card, and the BMO Rewards World Elite MasterCard. The next category that we take a look at is the Top Travel Rewards card with no annual fee. So again, here we're going to Travel Rewards, not Travel Points, because in the no fee category, we lump together all of the cards. So airline, hotel, travel points, and that. So this is your top no fee travel rewards card. And this is the only category this year where we crowned a new champion. Last year's second place card, the American Express green card, at that time still known as the choice card, takes over the top spot thanks to American Express, adding the option to convert this card's membership rewards points directly to their airline partners like Air Canada Aeroplan and British Airways Executive Club. This new addition makes it the most flexible and valuable no-fee travel card in the Canadian market. You can redeem points for any travel or cash back, redeem via Amex's fixed points for travel, or as we mentioned, convert them to those airline and even to their hotel program partners. Really, what more could you ask for in a no-fee card? That means last year's category champ, the MBNA Rewards Platinum Plus MasterCard, drops to second place. Still one of the best no-fee cards in the market, just not as flexible as the green card. And then the same three cards fill up spots three to five, and those are the MBNA Best Western MasterCard, CIBC Aventura card, and the Scotiabank American Express card. And then that brings us to our favorite category of them, the Top Hybrid Rewards card. What is a hybrid card, you may ask? Well, it's a card that provides you with multiple redemption avenues. So that's a travel points card where you redeem points via the proprietary cards program travel agency, or you can book travel with anybody on some of the cards and then redeem points against card. But then it also gives you the option to convert to airline points or hotel points, you name it. So hybrid covers the whole gamut. And this is really why it's our, our favorite category because it does so. And this category sees no changes this year. The, the American Express Cobalt card is a hybrid card. So of course it's on top, followed by the Amex Gold Rewards card, which has always been up there as well. Third spot goes to the HSBC World Elite MasterCard, fourth to the RBC Avion Visa Infinite card, and rounding out the category is the Platinum card from American Express. I mean, as you can see, three of our top five overall cards in Canada come from this category, and that's because it offers the most flexibility, and in most cases, the most value out of any of the cards across the board. And that brings us to the next category, which is the airline card category. So this is your frequent flyer program category. And just like the hybrid category in our rankings, there were no changes this year. The TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite card takes top spot once again, followed by the WestJet RBC World Elite MasterCard, the American Express Aeroplan card, the MBNA Alaska Airlines World Elite MasterCard, and in fifth spot, the RBC British Airways Visa Infinite card. I'll be curious to see what transpires in this category for 2023, however, as we are anticipating some big changes. Well, we're hopeful, at least, as uh, WestJet Rewards has brought in a chief loyalty officer. It's not very often that a company has a C-level loyalty specialist. So we'll see what happens here with the WestJet program in 2022. And then Alaska Airlines should be adding more One World partners to the ranks of their mileage plan program. Qatar, Iberia, and Royal Air Maroc have already been implemented and we should see some more soon. However, without an option to redeem for domestic flights in Canada, the mileage plan program will always just play a niche role and not challenge Aeroplan or WestJet in this category. And that brings us to our final category in the travel rewards section, and that's the top ultra premium cards. These are your high-end cards that provide a lot of benefits, a lot of extras, but also charge a lot more in annual fees. And this is the second year we've done this category, and the top spot once again goes to the Platinum card from American Express. While there are a few really good ultra premium cards in the Canadian market, none provide as many benefits as this card, nor the flexibility in the rewards that it provides as well. So that card stayed in first, and then second to fourth remain the same as well, with the American Express Aeroplan Reserve card taking second, the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite Privilege card in third place, and the RBC Avion Visa Infinite Privilege in fourth spot. The only change in this category came for fifth. 
The often forgotten, well at least by me, Scotiabank Platinum American Express card takes over from the BMO Eclipse Visa Infinite Privilege card. We couldn't in our right mind keep the BMO card in that spot after the bank devalued the travel redemption rate on all their BMO rewards cards in 2021. You're paying $499 per year for the BMO Eclipse Visa Infinite Privilege card and you can't even earn a 1% return on your base spending. You actually earn 0.67% towards travel and even less for cash back. So the card has fallen down in our rankings. The Scotia Platinum card on the other hand rewards you with a 1% to 4% return towards any travel on all of your spending and you're not limited to booking via them. You can book via anybody. Has great travel benefits including a bunch of lounge passes added into its uh, priority pass membership. So it makes its debut in the second year of us ranking ultra premium cards. And now we'll jump over to the top cash back cards in Canada. This one won't take as long as it's only one category and that's overall cash back cards. And the champion here is the same as we've had in place since August of 2021 and that's the American Express Cobalt card. Yes, I know technically it's not a cashback card. However, the line drawn in the sand between travel rewards cards and cashback cards has been eroded over the past few years as issuers have been providing a cashback option in their proprietary programs. In most cases, well actually almost all except one, that cashback cash back option from travel cards has always provided less value than the travel redemptions. So a lot of these proprietary cards have really not made it on our list. And... Um, Overall, they've kind of provided less value than the actual cashback cards in the market. But that changed in mid-2021 when American Express enhanced their use points for purchases rate from 1,000 points equaling $7 to 1,000 points equaling $10. Thus, the rate matched their use points for travel redemptions and made all points earned in the membership rewards program worth one cent in terms of cash back. Thus, this effectively made the American Express Cobalt card a 1-5% to cashback card, which trumped the best cashback cards in Canada at that time, and still does. So that is why it's ranked as the number one cashback card in Canada. The welcome bonus provides cashback value that is better than many of these 10% offers that are out, and the everyday earn rates has the card competing and beating these other cashback cards. So that's why it takes top spot there. It, it is now the best travel rewards card in Canada and the best cashback card in Canada. With all that being said, however, there are uh, the other cashback cards that are on the list shouldn't be forgotten about. In second place, you have the CIBC Dividend Visa Infinite card. Third is the Meridian Visa Infinite Cashback card. Fourth is Simply Cash Preferred from American Express. And rounding out top five is the Everlasting Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite card. In fact, the differences in earn between second and fifth spots are pretty negligible and your choice of card here may be simply be dictated by one card having a slightly higher in one category over another. Um, or in case of the Simply Cash, it's 2% on all spending. So if you're kind of not spending in, you know, specific categories where you earn an increased rate, that's a card to check out. But so, you know, you're, you're really close with all of these here. And ideally, you'd probably want to grab one of these other cashback cards plus the Cobalt so you maximize your cashback earning if you're not into travel rewards. And you do want to note that both the Simply Cash Preferred and the Scotia Momentum cards are once per year cashback cards. You only get rewarded once a year with your cash back, whereas all the others provide you with um, much more frequent access to your cash backs, like the, the Cobalt card you can redeem anytime you have at least a thousand points, CIBC Dividend if you're at $25 you can redeem and so on. So, you know, there's a lot more flexibility in some of the other cards, so we'll also take that into account. And there you have it. Those are Rewards Canada's top travel and cash back rewards cards in Canada. And since one card takes top spot on both, you can get that card and have yourself covered for both types of rewards. And I do want to say that just because a card isn't ranked number one in one of the categories, it doesn't mean that it's no good. No, in fact, you are pretty much good to go with any of the top five cards in any of our categories, as they're all excellent cards. It's just that some do things a little bit better, but also every person has different needs in terms of rewards, benefits, insurance, and so forth. Um, in reality, you probably also want to have a few of these cards in your wallet to cover all your bases in terms of those rewards, benefits, insurance, and such. For example, the Cobalt card is the highest earning Aeroplan points card in Canada, but it doesn't get you Aeroplan preferred award flight pricing or your first check bag free on Air Canada flights. So ideally, you'd want the Cobalt card and an Aeroplan co-brand card to maximize not only your points earning, but also your Aeroplan redemption benefits and your benefits for flying on Air Canada. 
That's just one example of a combo, and there are many more that are well suited for each individual out there. And that's where it kind of comes into our, our ultimate credit card portfolios. We kind of try and pick certain um, individuals out there who might want a specific thing and pick out three cards, one Amex, one Visa, one MasterCard, that would work for that type of individual. So be sure to check out our ultimate credit card portfolios as well. What it comes down to is you utilizing our rankings and our other informative posts, articles, and features on the site to narrow down the selection for you. And then all you have to do is just the final little bit of figuring out to see which cards work best for you. And that's all she wrote. That's it for this episode. Thank you again for tuning in to the Rewards Canada podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to spread the word so that we can keep bringing you great content. Share the podcast, hit the like button, leave a five-star review on your favorite listening platform, and so on. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. The Rewards Canada podcast is produced in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with music produced by Regina Zone, TWKOP. 